coming from Ukraine, from a country whose president, probably the only one in Europe, is Jewish, uh, Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, and in the same time, I'm coming from a country which American Anti-Defamation League put on a list of the most anti-Semitic countries in Europe after Poland. And I'd like to say this in order to show you the complexity of the issue when we speak about anti-Semitism in Ukraine. They used this, the presidency of Zelensky, in uh, both ways. Um, they say, I mean, nationalistic groups, political parties, activists, civil society, many, 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 many people say that, that this is a clear example of how Jews taken over Ukraine. Zelensky is saying in the interview that there is no anti-Semitism in Ukraine because he is Jewish. So the truth is somewhere in the middle. I was witnessing the, all these 30 years of Ukrainian independence since the collapse of the Soviet Union. The last five years is unbelievably unbelievable rise of anti-Semitism, specifically and especially anti-Semitic rhetoric, especially in the social media. We got, by our estimation, hundreds and thousands of everyday comments and rhetorics and statements every day, anti-Semitic, which we count as anti-Semitic incidents. Our government encourages nationalistic groups. Our government encourages uh, glorification of Nazi collaborators, mass murderers, and murderers of Jews. Literally, there are hundreds of monuments, streets, named after killers of Jews. You can't this imagine in the West. You can't imagine in France, for example, a monument to a policeman who were escorting Jews to the Nazi death camps. Our government continuously rejecting invitation to become member of International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. We have anti-Semitic incidents every day, various. Vandalism on mass graves, Holocaust mass graves, vandalism on uh, Jewish monuments. Uh, Shalom Aleichem latest uh, vandalized with uh, swastikas in Kiev, center of Kiev. Babiyar, whatever, no one was ever convicted. They always deny the issue. From our Jewish president towards the law enforcement at the lowest level, local Ukrainians do not want to listen from us, from, from Jews. They can listen it from European, Europeans, European government. Thank you.